morning, hope you're well. It is a stunning day down in Chichester today. I've just woken up, but I thought I'd do a bang cast for you. Now, it's not going to be your average bang cast today. Last week, if you remember, I posted on my Facebook wall inviting you guys to ask me any question you wanted. So today, as promised, I'll be answering them. Now, we've got quite a lot, so I'm going to be doing half today. I'll do the other half next week. So without any further ado, let's jump in. Question number one. Margaret Rhodes asks, if you could publish in only one format, what would it be? Ebook or real book? It's a good question, Margaret. And the answer to that would be ebook. I sell most of my books in ebook format, and ebooks allow me to sell all over the world, so that's why I sell most of my books in America. So it's going to have to be ebook, even though I absolutely love real books. I'm one of these people who sniffs books. I love the smell of a good book. Next question, John Woodburn asks, how many books do you think you would have written by the age of 57? That's a good question, John. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go with 70, roughly two books a year. Carl Maurice asks, do you have any plans to produce audiobook versions of the Imanesca series? Well, actually, Carl, I do, and I've already kicked off um, that project. I'm using a platform called ACX, which helps me link up with voice actors for the book. So at the moment, I'm in the middle of sort of preparing the written for loading onto ACX, and then I'm going to find a voice actor, and hopefully, who knows, we may have an audiobook out by Christmas. That would be really, really cool. James Donald Smith asks, What's the most books in the world? <laughs> well, James, um, I'm going to go with a million, a million books. Joshua George Smith asks, will you ever bind your books with leather? Well, Josh, uh, the answer to that is going to be a yes. However, I need to make the leather first. So it's going to take a while because I need to learn how to do that. Seb Peters asks, to give a slightly non-book related question, favorite band? Good question. My favourite band would have to be Incubus. It's an old favourite of mine. I've only seen it once, but it was on my birthday, so it was awesome. Mariah E. Wilson asks quite a few questions. What tea is your favourite? I'm going to go with Yorkshire. If you were stranded on a desert island and only had three books, which three books would you have with you? Oof. I'm going to go with American Gods, Lord of the Rings, and The Book Thief. They are stunning books. Rob Lumpkin asks, what does the fox say? Oof. I'm not even going to attempt an impression. <laughs> but on a serious note, who inspired you to publish on your own? Well, it's a combination of things. Back in 2009 when I started writing The Written, I'd been working a series of really unfulfilling jobs in bars and pasty kiosks on train stations. So for me, I was bored and tired of that lifestyle and I wanted out. I wanted to do something creative. At the same time, that passion was linked up with the ability to self-publish. Technology has really been the driving force behind the indie revolution. And so when I finished The Written and wanted to publish, suddenly I found that all these tools were available that could help me actually go to the reader direct and cut out middlemen such as publishing houses and agents, etc. And that actually it was a viable path, one that I could make a living from. So it was sort of those two factors combining that really, really inspired me. It was no one singular person. The next question is from Alexandra Shireen. When you have to write a book, but for some reason you feel too tired and can't be bothered, how do you still motivate yourself? It's a very, very good question. Well, the answer to that would be a plan. I always use a plan to get myself back in the game, figure out where I'm going. I find it hard to write when I don't have purpose. That really, really helps me. The other answer to that would be a large glass of wine or a large glass of whiskey. Never, never fails to inspire you. But of course, drink responsibly. Jill Jepsen asks, do you find the publishing and marketing side of things frustrating or confusing, or is this just me? I find it both frustrating as well as rewarding. Now the reason being is because I'm a writer first and foremost, so I came into this business to write books. So when time and effort is taken away from books, I get a bit grumpy and I resent what I'm doing. But I know also that it helps me further my career. So spending time editing books is absolutely necessary. So is spending time getting a good cover design. And of course the marketing is important as well to help you sell books. Now I'm quite strict with my time, so I will split the day 80-20, 80, 80 being writing, 20 being marketing and author admin. Right, we're going to go for one more, and that's from Wendy Galley. Great name, Wendy. She asks, what genre of books do you like to read and why? Who are the authors that inspired or continue to inspire you in your writing today? Well, again, we've already mentioned Lord of the Rings, and there's a good reason for that. And that's because that, when I read that as a kid, got me hooked on fantasy. And since then, I've been reading the darkest fantasy I can find, the most epic fantasy. I'm looking at Neil Gaiman, Joe Abercrombie, Brandon Sanderson, Scott Lynch, Mark Lawrence, all those sorts of authors and plenty more besides. I'm also rather partial to a bit of Clive Cussler, which sounds a bit random, but I picked up a Clive Cussler book on a train ages ago and ended up loving it and buying pretty much the whole Dirk Pitt series. <laughs> a bit random. But those are the books that have inspired me and continue to inspire me, as well as their authors as well. 
So that's it for this Q&A. I hope I answered your questions. If I didn't, don't worry, it will be up in the next Bencast. In the meantime, this weekend I'm trying to write 20,000 words on a brand new novel, so wish me luck. You can follow my progress on Twitter and Facebook uh, during the whole ordeal. I say ordeal, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Catch you soon, take it easy and enjoy the sunshine. Bye.